Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this presentation about how to obtain uh, an EWAS token for residency applications for the year 2020. First of all, we will go to ESFMG site, we will go to the online services, and then we will navigate to OASIS online applicant status and information system. Uh, after that, this screen will be showing and you should click on go to races. After that, this screen will show in the login screen, you will enter your ECFMG identification number as well as the password and you will click on login now. After you have logged in into your account on uh, online services ECFMG, you will have this list on your left side. You should click on ERAS support services. After that, you will get this screen where you will find you will click on ERAS residency token. So you click on this uh, link. So you will find a disclosure about. 2020 ERAS token and you 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 can read uh, these disclosures which is uh, containing some regulations regarding the conduction of the uh, application filling the applications uh, ECFMG uh, ECFMG regulations. So you click on accept the above disclosures and then you click continue. So after you click continue, you will find another screen which is showing you uh, information, address, telephone, fax, and email and addresses. And you should click if you want to change the contact information, you should click on this link. Otherwise, you will also click continue. After that, another screen showing citizenship status and conditions related to the visa status. And it is showing here in the case of ECFMG J1 sponsorship, that determination of eligibility cannot be made until full J1 sponsorship application is made and supporting documentation reviewed. And this usually happens after matching to a residency post. So at this stage, you will find the due amount that you have to pay, which is in this case 130 uh, US dollar. So you click on pay total due. After that, it will show this screen and the total due is 130. However, because I have an uh, existing credit, worth of $30, I applied that to this service. So the total due in my case is 100 US dollar. After I clicked pay total due, it shows the method of payment, which will be credit card or electronic check. Uh, so I will choose credit card and then we'll click continue. At this stage, you should have your credit card number ready, security code, expiration date, and the name of the card, and then you will click on authorize this transaction. After you have paid the amount, you should find this screen which is showing your payment confirmation number, and you have to click on continue below in order to complete your service request. At this stage, uh, you will be getting your token request information. You have the US 2022 number, the request date and issue date. So you have to keep uh, your token number ID with you because you need it after you log in into your AMC account in order to register your token. There are other uh, informations regarding ESFMG 
uh, uh, eras uh, paper preparation uh, in this account it shows that there is uh, previous documentations uh, during eras 2019 and this will be automatically transferred to the current uh, eras application and it shows that you have to you start applying for programs using my eras on september 5th and we will uh, i will show you how to start uh, making your your uh, information is ready for my eras registration in the next uh, presentation however at this stage you have successfully obtained and an eras uh, token and you are ready for the next uh, step thank you for uh, staying with me and I hope to see you in the next presentation where we will be reviewing how to make my RAS uh, account. Thank you very much.